All right, welcome back to a brand new video of the Target Individual Program, Target Individual Experience. So again, I'm under heavy remote no monitoring, heavy surveillance inside the home. Again, whenever I look at, you know, I use my defense mechanism, and so I know they don't like it. Hear the police sirens in the background. Um, it is about 2 a.m. in the morning. So I've been posting on Facebook. Um, particularly with this ritual mur murder that happened in Chicago where this uh, young kid happened to shoot a man who assaulted his mother. Now, I have no issue with this kid defending his mother. What I do have an issue with is his mother, after her son, which, by the way, don't know why she would give a 14-year-old a gun, okay? She is the one that have the permit to carry, not her son. But I want you guys to understand how the state has been emboldened uh, these uh, Negro European women to engage in such behavior. Not, not only is it detrimental to the community that they live in, but also to her son. All right? And these are the same mothers that are raising these kids who are out there shooting up the place. Right? With the aid of the racists on the police force. And those within the CIA and the military, right? Those white, those racists who are supplying weapons to young kids. Okay, we saw the same thing happen in 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 LA, in the eighties, the nineties here in New York. Okay, and they got us fighting against each other. You have these, you have these Negro European women talking about oh. Uh, that's what you get for putting your hands on a black woman and such and such, right? As if, again, trying to insinuate this whole notion that black men are the oppressors and the abusers of black women. When well, that's the furthest thing from the truth, right? See, this is what they won't tell you. And this is why these, these feminist liberals uh, uh, go around spreading rumors and lies and propaganda, right? Deceitfulness, deception at large okay so after he shot this man once and the man ran away she then turned around and told her son to chase after him and shoot him until he is dead okay so from that point it went from being self-defense to now to murder because he shot that man in the back okay then on top of that she then instructed her son to shoot a woman who was laughing at the whole situation. Then when her son refused, she went to grab the gun from her son and to wrestle it away from him and her son pushed her off. Okay? So, don't go making like this woman is some type of... of uh, she was a victim. Yes, she was. But then she turned from a victim to be now an accessory to attempted murder and murder. Okay? And on top of that, she then left the scene. She didn't call the cops. She did not call the cops. She didn't wait for the police to come. She got in her car with her son and she left the scene. Now, let me ask you this. If that was a black man, same situation, right? Self defense, but then he, after the suspect who tried to rob him, assault him, what have you, ran away, chased after him, shot him in the back, and killed him, right? And then turn to kill somebody else another woman but didn't fire but let's say he just pointed the gun at a bystander or what have you what do you think would have, what would have happened what do you think you know what do you think would have happened not only would he have been charged with murder but he was also been charged with uh you know uh some sort of threat uh to 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 injure uh, an innocent person but i want you to understand how these women are being these uh Women are being emboldened by the state. Just as that young female in Florida who called her brother because she, her uh, boyfriend, by the way, this young black woman now, she was married. She was married. Okay? And because the person who she's seen who was an NFL player, I think, or NBA player, whatever it is, um, he called her the B word. And she literally assaulted him. She assaulted him. It's on camera. She called her brother, who came with four, other, three other uh, guys, 
One of them got killed by her so-called uh, boyfriend. But she did not get charged with conspiracy. She did not get charged with creating a dangerous situation to where one person got killed. No. What they are doing is playing a, a dangerous game of giving black women a false sense of power. They're just using black women. And black women don't understand the game that these white supremacists are playing. The divide and conquer tactic and strategy that they've been engaging in. And so what's going to happen when stuff, ha stuff like this keeps happening? Black men is going to walk away from black women totally. And guess what? What they're not telling black women is over the past decade, there have been an exponential rise in black women going to jail. See, so what they show you on TV and what they do to a few black women by letting them commit all sorts of crime, what have you, is to make the vast majority of black women believe that they can get away with doing such things. But the reality is, if you look, go look it up. Like I said, I, I don't talk stuff. I, I, I research it so I know. Black women are being incarcerated at five to six times the rate of white women than any other group of women. Okay? That false sense of power that they have given to them. Also, the belief that their woman empowerment for black women empowerment is through their sexuality and through sex and sexualizing themselves for the rest of the world to see. It is a psychological program, a psychological condition. It's not a curse. It is perpetrated, implemented, created, perpetrated, implemented on us as black men and black women. And we have to be more intelligent than that. We have to be smarter than that. Now that young 14-year-old child is going to have to live with the fact that he shot this woman. And all she should have done is just, just walk away. Just walk away. But because she knew her son had a gun on him, she behaved in the manner in which she behaved in. Okay? And black women are supposed to be so intelligent and so smart. All right? Think about that. Talk to you guys in the next video.